Let's move on to another fantastic food wine. And I know I'm running through these really quick. It's because we have eight of them, guys. <laughs> I don't want to have you sitting here all night. Um, so this is, we're going to move to a new world. So surprise, surprise, we can have new world wines as well. Because remember, rosé can be made from any grape, right? Any grape. We are still macerating at this point. We have not moved on to a different style of making rosé. When we do, I will let you know. But let's talk about Andaluna, the 1300 rosé. Uh, Malbec rosé. Has anyone tried a Malbec rosé before? Right? Um, I might as well tell you why I love Andaluna. First things first, it's the name. Andy, you know, a combination of mountain, soil, water, altitude, a man's knowledge. Luna, a place of inspiration and magic. The moon, indispensable ingredients for the creation of great wine. <laughs> That's their kind of motto. I love it. It's really awesome. Um, when we first imported this wine, it was this really deep red colour, right? There's this misconception in Australia that uh, the colour, like the deeper the colour, the sweeter the wine. I'm going to break that for you. That does not matter. If you have a grape like Grenache or Malbec or Cabernet, for instance, those grapes, the, the skins on those will pigment the, the juice lots faster than, say, a Sangiovese or a Pinot Noir, right? So if you leave the skin to macerate for, say, four or six hours, it's going to get a, become a deep colour. So when we first got this Malbec in, it was this deep red, and my goodness, it did not work. Everyone freaked out that it was going to be a sweet Malbec, like a sweet rosé, but it wasn't. It is like, when we first had it, it was like this herbaceous, um, big, rich, Malbec tasting thing that simply just was, was rosé, you know? So over the years with Andaluna, they've started pulling back to become more of that Provence colour. Surprise, surprise, it's now selling really, really well. So now you'll see it's this pale salmon. To me, that's frustrating because I feel that it doesn't represent the grape as much as I would love it to. You know, I feel like they're trying to become something else. But it is what it is, right? So we have to embrace it. This is the vintage and it's selling and the label's beautiful. So, you know, let's embrace it, I guess. So let's have a look. Wow, and wow. Okay, so aroma. Cherries. Cherries. It's floral and it's herbaceous. Like I was mentioning, even when the colour was darker, it, it, it was herbaceous. When I say herbaceous, it's like this dried herbs coming through, but it's very fresh. It's, it's very Provence, actually, the, the way they've done this. To be honest, this is the first time I'm trying this, which is really cool. That's the other reason why I love doing these tastings, because I get to try the wine with you, because we import so much wine. Um, I don't always get an opportunity to try them. But yeah, yeah I'm just getting cherries, like so much cherry. Mm, and black fruit as well. But there's something else like a, you notice I close my eyes because I can't concentrate on two things at once. Maybe it's just how much wine I've consumed already. Mm. Mm. Wow. 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 It is silky and it's fresh. Oh, and it's like, do you know, you know, strawberries and cream lollies? Strawberries and cream lollies. Absolutely yummy it's not sweet fruit sweet yes so we have to get past this like fruit sweet and sugar sweet this is not sugar sweet it is bone dry it is acidic it makes my mouth water but it is fruity it is strawberries and cream it's like cherries and cream it is delicious mm. the other thing about this is that i would be having it with food I would be having it with grilled meat, with chicken, with um, ceviche, sashimi, all the things. That's delicious. <laughs> and it's like 20 bucks a bottle, 25 a bottle. Like ridiculous, ridiculous value for money. I just find like sometimes I think we look at rosé like it's something you just drink on a back porch with friends, have it really chilled. When people realise that rosés are so versatile, I really feel like we're going to start drinking rosé properly in Australia. We really will. 